in ways they are. Donkeys and dogs, however, are better than him, for they will end up. Exalted is he, the likeness of those, says, the likeness of those who were given the Torah to carry, but, not, but did not carry it, is that of a donkey carrying books. Evil is the likeliness of those who deny the signs of Allah, and Allah guides not people who are unjust. And he, he says, and recite to them the story of him to whom we gave our signs, but he cast them off, and the devil followed. And the devil followed him. So he became one of, of the beguiled. Had he wished, we would have raised him upon them, but he was drawn to the earth, and he followed his passion. His likeliness is thus that of a dog. When you attack him, he pants. And when you leave him, he pants. Umar radiallahu anhu said, That which I fear most for you is a hypocrite who speaks like a learned man. Such a corrupt hypocrite may make a thorough study of the Quran and Sunnah and so become a source of uh, sedation and affliction for the Muslims. About such people, the Prophet wasallam said, other than Dajjal, do I fear for you more than the Dajjal? They asked, and what is that? He said, misleading leaders. He described, sallallahu alayhi wasallam, people who will recite the Quran as it was sent down, but it will not go beyond their clavicles. And they will shoot out of Islam as the arrow shoots out of his target. A hadith says, the likeliness of the hypocrite who recites the Quran is that of his sweet basil. Its scent is fragrant but its taste is bitter. It is not unlikely then, after the above, to, cons to consider he who acquires the likeliness of knowledge to be corrupt, to be a corrupt hypocrite. His sign is that neither he himself benefits from his knowledge, nor do others, but on the contrary, he harms himself and others. On the whole, the scholar who acts on his knowledge and teaches Allah's servants
an image. Nothing but an image. Why? Because that image is going to be a proof against him on the day of Qiyamah. People are going to say, yeah, Are you not the one that you should tell us to do so? We are where we are today because of you. Then you will say, Naam, kuntu a'amru bil khayri wa la'ati. Wa anha anil sharri wa a'ati. I used to tell people, do this, then I don't do it. And I tell people, don't do this, and then I do it. And then he's, and then he's in the, and then he's in the, then he's in the fire like the like the Prophet ﷺ says, he will be in the fire of Jahannam and he will be turning in the fire of Jahannam and he will carry his uh, intestines around Jahannam and he will walk around it as how the animal walks around the huh? the most he used to carry around and they can say, but look he said, I'm the one that used to do you should tell people don't do that, and I also I would do the evil, and I should tell them don't do the evil, and I then I do it. But you'll see it in what is his condition. And he's like a person; he gave light to others, but he was burning out himself like a candle. Candle gives light, but it burns out himself. Mm-hmm. Or like a needle, you know, that is a needle that sews clothing for others to cover himself, but the needle remains naked. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He uh, he. Uh, he doesn't act upon it, but he tells other people, other people to do it. He says khasir. But he's a little bit better than the person who doesn't, he doesn't act upon it, nor does he inform people. He says, I, I, you know, I have enough of my, I must first practice upon it, so I'm not going to seek any knowledge. So he lives how he wants to live. And so he's not of benefit to others, nor is he benefiting himself. He says that person is even worse off. Because he is a loser from all aspects. Min kulli wajhin. Wa halikun ala kulli hal. And in all different situations, he's halik, he's destroyed. The liquor place for you now. I learned the father, the father, the swing, the swing, the swing. Wahalikun ala kulli hal. In all situations, this person is a user. Because, firstly, he didn't benefit himself, nor did he benefit anyone else. So, what will his condition be? So the first one is, the first one is a scholar. He never, he, ne- he never acted upon the knowledge, but he conveyed the knowledge. So yeah, and he was, there was some barakah in him, and the barakah was that other people benefited from his knowledge, even though he himself never benefited. So yeah, there was some benefiting. The other one, he has knowledge, but he didn't teach others, nor did he act upon the knowledge himself. What will his condition be? Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam يُؤْمُرُ بِأَقْوَامٍ مِنْ حَمَلَةِ الْقُرْآنِ إِلَىٰ عَبَدَةِ النَّارِ يُؤْمَرُ بِأَقْوَامٍ مِنْ حَمَلَةِ الْقُرْآنِ إِلَىٰ النَّارِ قَبْلَ عَبَدَةِ الْأَوْثَانِ People who used to carry the Qur'an People used to be حُفَّاظ, uh, عُلَمَاء They, before the, before the, before the idol worshippers Before the idol worshippers They used to they would be, uh, they would be then um, under, instructed, you're going to go to Jahannam first. You're going to be punished first. Before the idol worshippers. And then they will say, يُبْدَأْ بِنَا قَبْلَ عَبَدَةِ الْأَصْنَامِ Then they're going to say, why are we being punished before the, before the idol worshippers? Why are we being punished before the idolaters? And then uh, it will be told unto them. And it will be told unto them, نعم. لَيْسَ مَنْ لَا مَنْ يَعْلَمُ كَمَنْ لَا يَعْلَمُ The one who knows is not the same like the one who doesn't know. They didn't know. You had the knowledge, you had the understanding. And yet, despite your understanding, you still disobeyed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that's the second category. So the first category, Imam al-Haddad says, is a person, he, he doesn't practice. 
He tells other people to do it. أَتَأْمُرُونَ النَّاسَ بِالْبِرِّ وَتَنْسَوْنَ يَا أَيُّ الَّذِينَ أَمْنُوا لِمَا تَقُولُونَ مَا لَا تَفْعَلُونَ كَبُرْ مَقْتَمْ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ The second category is the person he doesn't benefit himself. He's not practicing. No, does he encourage others? He is just like a guy. He just does what he wants, and and he doesn't even invite others to the deen. No, does he educate them? He is worse off because there is no benefit to him whatsoever. The third category, he says, لا يعمل لا يعمل ولا ي وإن كان مع كون لا يعمل يعني he says, if the scholar does not, he does not act upon it. Nor does he teach others the deen. But what he does is he invites them to evil. This is the worst of. So, the second category, the one who, he doesn't, he doesn't act upon the knowledge. He doesn't also teach others. The third category is he don't act upon the knowledge. He doesn't teach others, but he encourages them to do evil. Huh? He invites you. He opens up the doors to people for ta'wilat and rukhas, following dispensations, hilas, uh, different types of loopholes within sharia. Do this, do that, don't worry. You know, there's a loophole, there's a loophole. Deceptive scholar. He, he does the acts of shaitan. He tells him, you know, to get out of this haq, you know, just do that. He's a, he's a hila, yeah. Do that, and then you can get out of that uh, that hap. He says, "For who is Shaitan al Marid? He is a Shaitan. Ajir Maani, Maani do Nilai Rasul. He is a uh, defiant to Allah and His Rasul. He has become the the Khalifa of Shaitan. He is a Khalifa of Shaitan, and Shaitan has made him his representative." in uh, creating fitna and misguiding people. And with Allah, what is he said to Allah? And Allah min al shabbahahum bil hamiri wal kilabi bil khissati wal mahan. He is like those who Allah, with Allah in Allah's sight, he is like those who are described as the hamir, the, the donkeys, the kilab, the dogs, in his lowness and his disgracefulness. He says the kilab and the hamir, because they will eventually become turab, and he is going to go to the fire of Jahannam. مثل الذين حملوا التوراة ثم لم يحملوها كمثل الحمار يحمل أسفارا. وقد نعلم من نبأ الذي آتيناه آتينا فنسلخ منها فاتبعش ولو شئنا رفعناه بها. The person who received Allah Taala's signs, بل عم بن باعرة, and Allah Taala says, but he is. أخلد إلى الأرض واتبع هواي followed his desires and he turned away from Allah سبحانه وتعالى's commands and they say بلعم بن بعورة was given اسم الله الأعظم the greatest name of Allah اسم الله الأعظم is that name of Allah if the person makes dua with it then Allah answers his dua if he uses it to ask Allah for something Allah grants it to him without any any conditions completely gets it at night it's not like a matter of, okay, I accept your dua, but I'll defer it for the akhir. No, you ask Allah, gives it to you right there and then. So it is like a, it's like a very uh, secret key that Allah only gives that gift to whom he knows can be trusted with that, with that name. It gets when the, when the put opportunity is there to misuse it, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala takes it away from that person. And the person then becomes worse than that of the animals. And that is what happened to Balaam bin Ba'ur. He was given the, the, the Creator's name of Allah, Ismullah al-Adam. And then he uh, wanted to use it to make dua against Nabi Musa. And then his tongue became thick and he couldn't. And, and uh, it was taken away from him. Allah says, <coughs> he was like the dog. مَثَلُ كَمَثَلُ كَدْ إِن تَحْمِلَ عَلَيْهِ يَلَا أَوْ تَتْرُكْهُ يَلَا When you are... Huh? Uh, when you when you go close to him, then he pants. What's the another to pants? A box. What's that? Free TV. Free TV. Yes, like TV. And TV. Free 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 T
Oh, the truku, yeah. He is forever. He always pants. So the so this is the sign of the person that uh, when Allah gives him ayat, الذي يسقلس الذي أعطيناه آياتنا, He gave him our signs. It's me, it's me, Allah. He was given Allah's greater name. And um, many of the many of the salihin and the uliya were given Allah Taala's Allah's Allah's ism al a'zam, but no one knew that they were given. And those who desired it were not given. They they didn't get it. It is just given once a person knows that he can be trusted with it, that he will not use it to harm anybody. And uh, therefore, one of the uh, Sayyid al-Habi Umar was mentioning a story once and he said that um, there is this one person that he a student he was studying by his teacher for years and years and his teacher was, he, Allah gave him Ismullah al ahbar and he's studying and every time he tells his Shaykh when are you going to give him Ismullah al ahbar Yes, he said not yet okay and he continues studying and studying and he said Shaykh when are you going to give Ismullah al ahbar he said no not yet okay so he says, so he, so he goes one day to the marketplace. He goes one day to the marketplace and um, and when he goes to the marketplace, he sees this person. Uh, he's, he catches fish. He's a fisherman. After he catches a fish, he takes it to the person. And this is a wealthy Tajir, a businessman. And he tells the businessman, I've got this fish. And, uh, so the businessman just take it to my home and I'll pay you. He takes it to the home, eventually drops it over there, and he comes back, and he tells, uh, he says, okay, I dropped the fish, and I'm coming here to collect the, the money. He says, what money? He says, the money of the fish. He says, get away. He says, you took my fish, and you didn't pay me for my fish. The business start kicking him, and assaulting him in the marketplace, and chasing him away. So he's watching this whole thing, he's observing this whole thing. He's so angry. What's happening, how this businessman, this wealthy person, is taking advantage of this man and he runs to Sheikh and he says Sheikh Wallah today you must give me Ismullah al Adam you must give it to me then so Sheikh said why so he says Sheikh I witnessed this 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 happen now and I need Ismullah al Adam to make dua against this business man so the Sheikh told him describe me this person this old man so he said no he looked like this and so and so and so the Sheikh said ah is he a, is he a fisherman is this what he looks like is that he says nah that's him that's him Sheikh he also has Ismullah <laughs> Even he, he has Ismullah He didn't use it again. <laughs> so these things are given when they are given, and that is any secret that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grants his slaves, they are given with an, of an amana, of the responsibility. <coughs> and if the person cannot fulfill the amana of Allah's secrets, Allah don't give it to him. Uh, you're not going to give your most valuable gifts. Uh, like uh, Imam al-Haddad says, you're not going to take uh, your your necklace, your your, your very expensive um, necklace that has diamonds and uh, very expensive stones, precious stones around it, and you're going to take it and hang it on the on the neck of a Shinzi. You're not going to do that. Right. No one has taken an expensive necklace, valuable, and take it and hang it on the neck of a khinzir. Allah Ta'ala don't take his secrets and the valuable, uh, uh, or the invaluable uh, asrar of him and give it to people that are not deserving. And at times where they do receive it, then it is istidraj that Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala wanting to lure them into further falling into transgression and transgression, Allah Ta'ala takes them. Uh, أيحسبون أن ما نمدهم به من مال وبنين نسارع لهم في الخيرات بل لا يشعرون. Those who are transgressing they say Allah is giving them a lot of abundance of wealth and children and is giving them everything and they think oh Allah تعالى loves us. Allah says نسارع لهم في الخيرات we hastening the خيرات in this dunya بل لا يشعرون they don't care. So when they come to the akhirah, وما له في الآخرة من من نصيب. There is no nasib, there is no share, no lot for him in the akhirah. Ya Rabbi Salaam. Now, so this one person, he comes, 
he travels <coughs> and it may be uh, it may be um, Al-Fudayl ibn Iyad or Malik ibn Dinar he travel because they heard that one of the Salihin Allah and I'm not sure about the name of the scholar but they heard that one of the Salihin he has uh, one, the Asrar Allah had given him some secrets some Asrar so uh, he travels from his country all the way to go get some of the Asrar eventually when he comes there he sees the Salih person that everyone is speaking about he comes out of the, the masjid and then he had some some, some mucus so he spat against the wall of the masjid outside so when this uh, this wali of Allah saw this when he saw this he turned around and he went back to his to his country so those who were traveling with him they said yeah Shaykh, you came all the way to benefit from from this person and now you uh, and now you're traveling you didn't you just you just saw one thing and now you're turning around and you're leaving so the person said so so this what the person he said now the one um, who cannot observe the etiquettes of Sharia, Allah will not entrust him with the secrets of revelation. If you can't observe simple adab of Sharia, then how can Allah Ta'ala grant you the secrets? Sayyidina Umar says, أَخْوَفُ مَا أَخَافُ عَلَيْكُمْ مُنَافِقٌ عَلِيمٌ بِاللِّسَانِ The most person I fear for you from is a, a munafiq who has a very eloquent tongue. He speaks like a learned man. Sayyidina Umar says, أَنَا مِنَ الدَّجَّالِ مِنْ غَيْرِ الدَّجَّالِ أَخْوَفُ عَلَيْكُمْ مِنَ الدَّجَّالِ you know the Prophet how he was fearful of the Ummah with regards to the Dajjal, he said the greatest fitna will be the Dajjal and uh, if the Dajjal comes to you and while I'm alive فَأَنَا حَجِيجُكُمْ then I will be your saviour and he comes and I'm no longer here فَكُلُّ مْرِئِ مِنْكُمْ حَجِيجُ نَفْسِهِ and every one of you should be his own representative and should secure his sound uh, this is the Dajjal the greatest fitna from the time of Nabi Adam. But in this hadith, Rasulullah says, there's something that I fear for you more than the Dajjal. قَالُوا وَمَا ذَلِكَ يَا رَسُولَ اللَّهِ What is it, Ya Rasulullah? قَالَ عُلَمَاءُ السُّوءِ Evil scholars. And in another narration, he described them as يَقْرَؤُونَ الْقُرْآنَ They recite the Qur'an. كَمَا أُنزِلِ Exactly as it, as it was revealed. Um, so another narration says تَحْقِرُونَ صَلَاتَهُمْ إِلَىٰ صَلَاتِكُمْ وَعِبَادَتَهُمْ وَعِبَادَتَكُمْ تَحْقِرُونَ صَلَاتَكُمْ إِلَىٰ صَلَاتِكُمْ You would regard your salah to be like inferior to their salah. Your ibadah is inferior to their ibadah. That's like, you, when you look at them, يَقْرَؤُونَ الْقُرْآنَ They recite the Qur'an. كَمَا أُنزِلْ إِذَكْلَا وَدُهِرِ uh, it doesn't go beyond the the column. It doesn't go beyond the column. لا يجاوز تراقيه. يمرقون من الدين كما يمرق السهم من الرمية. The only part of the deen that they, the only share that they have of the deen is the share of a a saham, an arrow. What is what part of the arrow touches the target? <laughs> so let's like, just, like, just get have the, the tinge of the deen. That's the only part that they have the deen. مفتونة قلوبهم وقلوب ما يعجبهم شأنهم. They their hearts are مفتون. It's it's deceived and it is uh, filled with deception. And those who follow them as well, and those who are those who admire them. And some narration said, La in, La in, uh, uh, if I was to find him, 
Or if I was to meet them, لَأَقْتُلَنَّهُمْ قَتْلَ عَادْ I would kill them the way عاد was killed. Because of the, the um, because of the danger that they hold for the Ummah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Allahu Akbar. It is not unlikely then after the above to consider he who acquires the likeness of ilm to be a corrupt munafiq. No, no. After the paragraph. On the whole, the alim who acts on his ilm and teaches Allah's servants is the one who deserves to be considered an heir of the, to the anbiya. The ulama, the alim who does not act on his ilm but teaches others is in a perilous situation. But nevertheless, is much better than he who neither behaves according to his own nor teaches others, and in addition invites to evil by opening the doors to it and it is easier for the people. So distinguish between the ulama and choose the best amongst them to emulate and follow his way. Thus will you be rightly guided. Allah guides whom he wills to his straight path. Now know, may Allah have mercy on you. That the Ali who acts on his own, who is counted by Allah and his Prophet وسلم, in this world and the next, as marks and signs by which he can be, be distinguished from the confused scholar who is counted by Allah and Rasulullah وسلم, amongst those whose learning is only verbose, <coughs> who follows his whim, their whims and prefer this world to the next. Among the signs of he who is counted amongst those who are learned in the sciences of the Akhirah are that, <coughs> that he be humble, modest, fearful, anxious, in awe of Allah, detached from the dunya, content with a little of his, spending in charity whatever exceeds his needs, of good counsel to the servants of Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, solicitous, solicitous for their wealthy, compassionate, enjoining good and forbidding evil, swift to do good works, constant in his devotions, guiding to good, inviting to right guidance, possessed of gravity and commanding respect, dignified, sedate, of good character, forbearing, gentle, affable with believers, neither arrogant nor overbearing, harboring no worldly hopes in people, not avoid of for worldly things, nor preferring this world to the Akhirah, not given to amassing money, nor withholding it when it should be rightfully spent. He is neither coarse nor rude, neither argumentative nor quarrelsome, neither harsh, intolerant, nor bad of character, neither hypocritical, nor deceitful, nor cheating. He does not prefer rich to poor people, he is not a frequent visitor to the rulers, and does not refrain from rebuking them when capable of it. He is not aware of the, for their power, wealth, or position. On the contrary, he dislikes them all, does not engage in any of them, nor accept any of them except when for a dire need or necessity. In sum, he should be everything that his own enjoins him to be in the way of virtuous character and good works, and should avoid every bad character or deed that his own enjoins him to avoid. These attributes of those whose own is for the Akhirah are attributes which should adorn every believer. However, though every believer should strive to acquire them, an alim is more worthy for, of them and should be the first to acquire them. It is more a duty to him, since he is an example that people are guided by, a leader whom they emulate. Should he err, fall prey to temptation, or give precedence to this world over the next, he will carry his burden of sin and that of everyone who follows him. But if he is upright and Allah fearing, he will receive his own reward as well as additional rewards equal to those of everyone who followed him. Mm -hmm. And uh, therefore the signs 
لكل شيء علامة everything has a sign everything has a sign what is the sign of the of the alim of the of the deen and the alim of the akhirah there are many signs in order for a person to be able to distinguish between them uh, as we've heard the signs of his humility he's fearful of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he's he's denounced the dunya he's sufficient he suffice that with a little of that Whatever he has of surplus, he spends them. He is constantly advising the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He cares for them, he is compassionate, he is enjoining good, he is forbidding evil, he is hastening towards good. He is always in a state of ibadah. He is encouraging that which is khayr and he is guiding to that which is, he is calling to that which is guidance. He has, has, he is kind, he is lenient, he is tranquil, he is humble, he has good character, his chest is expanded. He meaning he has a, a vast chest that can encompass not only his students, not only his, those who follow him, not only those who love him, not only those who treat him good, every single person, every single person, those who love him, those who dislike him, those who praise him, those who criticize him. And some of the, 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 the trait of some of those ulama, is that they love those who criticize them more than that those who love them and praise them because they know that those who criticize they, they see those who criticize them as nasihin people who are actually advising them and people who are actually uh, allowing the best of them to manifest they as you mentioned that the the person he doesn't he doesn't regard someone who advises him or criticizes him as a person who is doing him an injustice, but is a person who is giving him advice so he can better himself. So he, they constantly, the, the chest is, is expansive to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's creation. They, they wing and they, they lower themselves for the, they lower themselves for the believers. They are not arrogant. They are not uh, haughty. They are not uh, they're not filled with uh, uh, pride. They uh, they don't desire that which is in people's positions. And this is a very important thing of a scholar of the Akhira is that his eye never extends to that which is in other people's hands. Allah Ta'ala told the Prophet Sallallahu <laughs> زَهْرَةَ الْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا لِنَفْتِنَهُمْ فِيهِ وَرِزْقُ رَبِّكَ خَيْرٌ أَقْوَى Know that Allah's sustenance is better for you. Do not extend your eye to that which is in other people's position. They never ever desire what is with other people. Never ever. Right? And they constantly yearn and they make dua that Allah increases others in khayyiz and in barakah and their heart is detached from it. They don't see, oh, this person has this, and then he wants that. They see this person's got two of this, and they say, oh, can't I get one? This person's got abundance, they say, give me some. That is not the, that is not the, that's not the trait, that's not the quality. They don't, they don't, uh, they don't so socialize with people based on the positions and based on the worldly standards and what they acquired and what they how they can benefit them they don't need to work for the dunya but they need to work for the akhirah they don't say oh what do you do okay you can benefit me you can take on my his bow oh they do not know that oh you can do this for me oh you doing furniture you can climb with furniture you do this that they, that is not how they that's not the modus operandi they are they la tami'an fi nas they have absolutely no desire what's the people what is in people's hands is in their in their uh, um, in their sight despicable. It is despicable, and especially when it comes to dunya, they attach no value to the dunya to a point <coughs> that if the person wants to come and put all his possessions in front of them, they will take all of that and they'll give it away in charity. And some of this, some of the rulers in one of the uh, one of the. Uh, Khalifas in Yemen, or one of the 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 the, the kings, <coughs> he when they when they went to him and they made dawah, 
and he spoke to him and he spoke to him and he spoke to him as the Amir actually he spoke to him and then eventually he he accepted the dawah and he changed his life and then he says I don't want nothing to do with this with 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 uh, with authority I don't want to be in charge of anything and I I step down you take it so he told this this Habib that that that, that make dawah to him he told him yeah you take it for you and you do with it as you wish he says wallahi لو كانت الإمارة تصلح للدواء بما أعطيناها دواء بنا. <laughs> authority and if rule, rule uh, um, kingdom and positions of uh, of of of, uh, of خلافة in 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 this land was if our donkeys was worth what worth our donkeys we not even give it to our own our own animals. But what I can hold uh, because uh, they had no desire to this way, I think for Allah, I think uh, Allah. Give it to someone that fears Allah. And so he told him, okay, uh, who do you recommend? Mm-hmm. I recommended a person who is of salah of piety. He told him, give it to him. At least he will fulfill Allah Ta'ala's haqq of it. But they don't, their heart is detached from it. Sayyidina Umar bin Khattab was such an example. Where he says, Wallahi ma tamannaytu al-imarata qat. I've never ever desired to be a Khalifa once in my life. And it was once when he desired. And that was the only time when he explained. And it was not because of the Khilafah. He desired the Khilafah that day because of the dua that Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi made on that day. And that is that famous incident of who? Who remembers? Sayyidina Ali or the? What What battle was it? A battle was it? No, not a battle. 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 So why is it, why desire that is because the day before the Prophet said tomorrow I'm going to give the Khilafah, I'm going to give the flag uh, to someone who Allah and his Rasul Allah and his Rasul loves yeah. so that, that is the only time that I desired to become the, 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 the leader and not because of the leadership because of the dua that Rasul no. <laughs> today we mentioned that the house people canvassing for for votes the politician mashallah you see there's not enough polls in the room <laughs> to have the vote 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 and say ah, well, are we gonna do this are we gonna do that then we're gonna change this point we're gonna do that and after you get the votes ah, shit. <laughs> they had no desire with what is in people's position uh, and when they desired Meaning that when they desire that which is with, in, what is with people, it was never for themselves. It was never for themselves. It was for because what the people had was of benefit to others. So this person maybe had abundance and they saw that what he has can be benefit, can be of benefit to many others. Mm-hmm. See, you've got, you have so much, give sadaqah, open up a madrasa. Open up a hospital, open up an orphanage, <laughs> build a masjid. So when they asked, they never asked for themselves. It was always for the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. لا طامعا لا طامعا في الناس ولا حريصا على الدنيا And they had no interest in the dunya. ولا مؤثرا لها على الآخرة And they gave no preference to it. They gave no preference to it over the akhirah. ولا جامعا للمال ولا مانعا له عن حق. They were not people. They are not people that amass wealth. All these just they just want. Whenever they speak about money, this money opportunity. They want to speak. When there's a business, everything is just about wealth, wealth, wealth. But they never speak about Allah. That is not a sign of the ulama of the of the akhir. When these discussions of of dunya, then they're very intrigued. When the discussion of Allah and the Rasul, they, they're not so interested. They incline towards their heart is more connected to the dunya than what their heart is connected to the akhirah. One person once criticized, or oh, there was an incident with an imam, <coughs> I think it's the son of Imam al Haddad. Either him or his son, Al Habib Hassan, or him himself. He's, he's, they, someone, uh, someone came to him 
when the people used to come to him and uh, they ask him they want an appointment they want to see him then you should tell the you should tell his helper ask him if he's got money if he has money um no further so what does he want ask him they say no he just wants to speak to you and so ask you and he says ask him if he's got money he has money tell him to put down money and if he's willing to put down money and then you will see him that's bullshit you will take money to meet the pe- people take money from people in order so they can meet you so he says we don't not interested in the money he says because our time is the most valuable thing that we have and their money for them is the most valuable thing that they have so if they're willing to spend that which is valuable to them then i'm willing to give that which is most valuable to me mm-hmm. meaning it indicates that they are serious to me they just call the the, the some people just want to, they just want to sit there, just want to waste time and speak and say, ah, I get to practice, I get to sit with the sheikh, you know, like, obviously not, but I mean in those days, it was just, they just used to waste the time of the, of the scholars. So he says, and then eventually he takes the money and he gives it to him. So it's not the money that he desires, he says, in badalu anfasa ma'indahum, badalna anfas ma'indahum. We will sacrifice our most valuable thing, which is our, our time, in relation to if they willing to sacrifice what is more valuable? If by the person say, oh, it must not must give money now to go meet Imam Haddad. No, tell him he must keep his he must keep his meeting. I don't it's a sign that he that he isn't he's not willing to to impart of that which is valuable to him. And if he doesn't deserve to meet a person, uh such as that. Uh Wala Mutaradina ila salatin. Yeah, naam another one is wala mm. ولا فضلا ولا غليظا he's not a person who's harsh he's not uh, uh, someone who's constantly debating arguing he has a lot of uh, he, he, he breaks ties with everyone he is harsh he's bad akhlaq his chest is narrow very tight towards he's deceived he cheats he gives preference to, to, to the wealthy over the poor you look in his circles it's just the wealthy people and you know when he's uh, gathering, when you meet maybe, uh, go here to the, the least fortunate. I don't have time. No. But when it's a gathering and there's wealthy people, oh, then he's always there. He's always there. He knows the most wealthiest of people and he goes to visit their homes. And they say that uh, either, Al Imam Al Ghazali said, either Ra'aytum, either Ra'aytum Al Alima. Uh, if you see a scholar of knowledge that is constantly in by the sultans, by the rulers, then say that this person is a, a munafiq. Oh, 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 عفواً, عفواً, عفواً. Then accuse him with regards to his demon, doubt, to doubt his, his, his deen. And at least he says that if you know that by him going there, he is advising them. He's advising them. Sheikh Muhammad Sa'id Ramadan Bhuti Rahimahullah Ta'ala was one of those people that was wrongfully accused. Um, we, um, in the, just the three Arab Spring, and there's a Rabbi al Arabi just pre that um, and he was known to have a, a constant uh, sittings with the with the uh, with the uh, with the uh, president um, and his father 